Hello everyone, this is uh, Raphael, uh, also Vola to Vola on uh, Twitter. Today I'm here to talk about uh, the script I have uh, added on um, my Fractal Range Trading View script page. For those old enough to, to know the original script, uh, it was originally this one, so Volatility Regime, uh, which was actually quite popular uh, at the time. And uh, I did. I had it deleted from my um, Trading View script page, and it's now available on my Fractal Range uh, script page. To get access to this uh, script, uh, you will have to reach a threshold of uh, 150 tickers, meaning that you need at least a premium subscription from MFR, plus at least uh, a, um, an extra 100 ticker subscription from MFR. So on the top of my head, I think that's a cost of around uh, uh, 76 euro per month. Uh, but you, you'll get access to all the scripts that uh, MFR has opened to users, including the one that I'm going to talk about today. So today I'm going to talk about Vola to Vola um, uh, volatility script, which is this one. Okay, you can see this one here. And I'm gonna uh, split this video into uh, three parts. The first part is what is this script? The second part will be how to use it, um, for example, on the daily uh, to find tops and how to use it uh, on the last part will be how to use it on day trading. How do I use it, for example, to trade NQ uh, and I'm going to show you a way to generate uh, between, let's say, 150 to 1,000 bucks a day just trading uh, NQ uh, using at least this script uh, as an input to make your decision. So I hope you will like this video. Okay, so first of all, the, what, what does each line mean? So the blue line is actually the volatility of the asset. Okay, so it represents uh, how volatile this asset has been. Uh, uh, sorry, how this asset is currently uh, in terms of volatility. So uh, I have used um, the formula uh, coming from uh, VIX, VIX, uh, VIX fix, uh, which is openly available to calculate this. I made some uh, homemade modification, but uh, this is uh, the way to generate this one. Okay, and uh, contrary to uh, MFR uh, uh, trade and trade system, which actually trade and trend system, which actually um, has a look back period that is not fixed, um, I'm gonna use for this script a fixed period of look back. So I'm gonna talk about that. Uh, uh, right now. So the blue line is the volatility. The um, white line is trade. So it's the volatility for which we're gonna look for uh, uh, some time in the past to generate um, some kind of uh, moving average. Let's call it a moving average, a little bit more complicated, but let's, let's call it like this. Uh, to generate moving average uh, for uh, a certain number of iteration of this volatility. The second one is uh, the, the red and green line is trend. So this one will take a uh, look back into the formula that is longer than trade. Okay, so blue line is volatility. So volatility are volatile is the asset. White line is the trade. So the look back is uh, is a certain number of day, certain number of days, and uh, red and green is trend. So the look back is greater. Okay, so the way I view this one is basically very simple. When the volatility is below trend and trade, the asset is bullish trend, and its uh, volatility is bearish, bearish trend and bearish trade. Okay, volatility is going down, it's below trade and trend. So your volatility itself is bearish, bearish trade and trend. So the asset is bullish trend and trend. Okay, 
So this is this is the way I this is the, the way I see it. First of all, um, what you want to to see in a in a bullish asset is uh, the um, trend and the trade pointing down, and you want to have the the volatility of it uh, of this asset also going down. This is actually the when you when you get the the crazy ramp up in uh, in assets. So you can see, for example, this is the S I'm I'm looking at. So it's a mini S&P 500 contracts. Um, so you can see from this part to this part, this is when you get the crazy ramp up. And you can see the volatility is below trade, it's below trend, and both trend and trade are porting down. And uh, now you've got uh, from November to April, we had exactly the same setup. So you had volatility pointing down, below trade that was also pointing down, below trend that was also pointing down. When do you get um, volatile time? You get volatile time when first you have the volatility going above trade. So you can see here volatility is coming back and what you see is usually some uh, um, pri uh, price action pointing down, at least some, uh, some shakedown uh, of longs. And uh, when you get the true move down is when volatility gets above trend and trade gets above trend. Okay, so if you if you would expect uh, uh, some crazy price action with some uh, big price big move down uh, in price, that would be the time to to see it. Okay, so <clears throat> uh, macro will then tell you if this is the time to actually buy fear or if it's the time to actually sell fear. Okay, so um, so here you have volatility and. You, you knew you had to buy because the macro was not supporting uh, the, um, the continuation of the sell-off. You had this kind of price action the, the whole 2022. You can see how volatile it was. You had an attempt here from July to August to try to con counter uh, the, what the macro was saying, didn't work, and boom, volatility, volatility and things started to improve when you started to see trade point down and actually cross trend so making the asset both bullish trade and bullish trend the reason why here it didn't work is because you never had the switch to um, you never you never had trade above trend this is very important to get when you have trade above trend this is very 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 bullish this is usually the start of ramp up. So <clears throat> that's a way to, to see it. And uh, this script actually is used to generate my volatility trade and trend. Okay, uh, I'm just taking the formula from this script and uh, twitching it to generate it on the graph. That's basically the way you need to understand it. Okay, but this is how to view this one. And you can use, uh, you can think about it for any asset that you, that you watch. Uh, could be, I don't know, let's look at, uh, for example, the 10 year. So you will, you will find the same kind of pattern. So the most bullish price action is when you have volatility below trade and trade and trade below trend. Okay. When you get this kind of uh, shaky moves is when you have volatility above trade and especially when you get it above trend, when you, you, you get above trend and trade above trend. Okay, this is much more difficult to, to play. So I encourage you to check these scripts for most assets and see how, they, how it reacts and uh, to find maybe some ways to, to play it. Okay, but this is the idea behind this script. Okay, now um, let's, go, let's go further. Okay, so uh, I found that some, um, some of the assets actually have a volatility profile that keeps repeating. Their profile is quite uh, stable. And thanks to that, you can find what I call the minimum value of uh, trade that can be used as um, potential topping pattern in the asset itself. Okay, so what I do, I will give you some, uh, some example. For example, for each asset, I'm gonna check, okay, let's see how low this trade, so the white line goes and mark it and see okay where the asset is when it happens 
and uh, does it repeat in the past as we as this asset reached as this uh, volatility trade reached this place and every time generated the same outcome meaning a top so for VIX for instance I have noticed that uh, for the the, the, pro, the, the price the price of uh, volatile trade 22.4 and 15.6 they always end up generating a topping pattern on uh, VIX so I've marked those I've called them mean 1 and mean 2 and when trade reaches uh, these uh, these levels of course I'm going to check other stuff but I'm thinking okay we potentially have a top there and uh, I should be careful and monitor to see if maybe there is a, a top in VIX and maybe there could be a bottom in uh, in um, in uh, stocks for instance okay so you can see for example min 1 here 22.4 here 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 and if you go in the past you will see the same thing min 2 uh, was actually triggered uh, yeah here we had uh, we had the confirmation when we when we saw that that was the, that was the bottom you could have bought stocks with two hands we had here and you just had it recently uh, in uh, end of April so we had confirmation that it was uh, it was a bottom and you could have bought this one uh, also with uh, with two hands uh, so yeah so that's an example with vix uh, but you can check other assets like that i have another one also that i use uh, is cl uh, cl the only problem with this one is when you have a crazy uh, ramp up cycle uh, on it uh, you can be early <laughs> so you need to be you know uh, you need to have some other inputs to know okay uh, I'm watching for potential potential top now let's check uh, uh, the volatility uh, trade mean are we there yet or not this is the time for example to unload my long or to maybe short okay so 4.2 is the mean I, I've marked I've witnessed that usually uh, it will be a good trigger to get some uh, topping action so you can see here you can see here you can see here a little later here here i don't think it reached there yet uh, here you had the top and here you had another top okay so that's some example so if, let's say you were long because uh, cl was bullish trade and trend and uh, you were like okay when should i get out and that was an, an idea of when to get out when we finally reach here you could have got it gotten out okay so let's say you you got out at 85 and then you can look for a re-entry because macro because uh, uh, that's as far as you thought is it was gonna go etc so 4.2 okay jc is another one okay so i have two mean for this one uh, so mean one is 2.6 mean two is 1.9 when you reach this kind of levels on the volatility tra trade you know that okay potentially we have a top okay so let's say you were long for example for for gold i think i had uh, give me a sec uh, uh, pop, 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 pop. Uh, i need to be sure uh, by daily i had some note here Sorry, I'm trying to find by some day. Hold on. Yeah, that's the one. Okay. So, okay, let's say you use my script. This is the one um, uh, on top of my Twitter page. Let's say you, you were using it. Okay, you are along here. Okay. When I'm going to get out, you could have gotten out here. And uh, let's say you are reloading here on the retest of trend here I, get, I can get out i get in i can get out here or you can wait for the min 2 to reach because macro because you have other signal etc but these um, these levels are also pretty accurate for for topping pattern on um, on jc you can i will show you so here min 2 min 1 min 1 and i show you already there 
here, min2, min2, here lasted a little bit longer, it can happen, especially if you have like crazy, crazy bull market in the asset. But uh, for your decision uh, process, this is another thing you can add. You are thinking, okay, I'm long this asset, I'm long uh, gold because this and that, and uh, I'm not sure when I need to get out. Okay, I'm not sure, uh, I've made big profit, and uh, this is very good for decision making. So this is another example. I have shown you CL and JC, uh, G, GC, sorry, but uh, NVIX. But yeah, I encourage you to have a look at that, especially if you have a swing position in an asset. Okay, so the last one uh, I'm gonna show you is for day trading. Okay, so this is one of the, one of the setup I have for, for day trading uh, NQ, for instance. And uh, I always want to know, okay, uh, let's say we have some volatility at the time and uh, when can I buy? When can I buy? And when, actually, when can I sell also? Uh, get out. Um, as a general rule uh, for day trading, I always go long. I mean, there is some exception, but <laughs> it's very, very rare. So I will say, I will say this, I always go long. So I'm looking for uh, places to enter for long positions. Uh, so for NQ, I'm going to use primarily the three minute, uh, the three minute uh, chart. Okay. And I've marked 0 0.3 for trade on the three minute, 0 0.5 for trade on the, on the three minute. These are usually, these are usually the places I'm going to look to go long. So I will, I will look for other confirmation. Of course, uh, I'm going to look for range. I'm going to look for, uh, overbought, oversold. Also some scripts uh, are available either on my uh, own uh, uh, training view script page or on the MFR one. Um, so for instance, every time I see trade going above 0 0.3, I'm going to look to, to get long. Okay. I'm going to also look to get long if we get to 0 0.5. Um, I will show you some instances when you see that. So you can see here, it was a, it was a min almost there, here again, and it's usually pretty accurate. So let's say you, you like day trading, you want some confidence when you take some, uh, some long, this is one of them. So I'm gonna use the three minutes uh, as a basis to, to make the decision. Uh, another chart I'm gonna use is the 15 minutes and the max I've marked are 0 0.8, 1 1.1, 1.5. So I mark the max, meaning the max that the trade can go to once there, the only, the only way is go down. So if, of course, if trade of volatility is going down, volatility is going down, meaning the asset is going up. That's why I'm talking about going long. So the value I've marked is yeah, 0 0.8 here, 1.1 and 1.5. So, so, so this, this 15 minutes will be another uh, decision, ma decision making uh, add-on uh, that I'm going to use. Okay, does it support the three minute? Yes or no, etc. Uh, same for the one hour. I'm, I'm, I have marked three for trade, but also I have marked some value for volatility itself. 3.6, 4.7. Yeah, I think that's it. Yeah. So basically when I see trade trade of under one hour gets to this these places and i have confirmation i'm going to take a long so of course here didn't work here worked so the way you do in day trading right you take a, you take a shot you put a stop it goes it doesn't go but here for example let's say you were at uh, you are taking the long here 642 yeah that's that's, uh, that's 25 points uh but yeah for example here you take you take the long here that's 173 700 that's 600 points i mean uh, <laughs> you're making a killing if you if you do this so for trade three for volatility itself 3.6 and 4.7 so i'm always going to look for that because these patterns will repeat I encourage you to, to, of course, you can use mine. This is the one I have been using for, for months now and uh, they work fine. Uh, and uh, for the two hours, this is the last one I'm gonna watch. 
because these ones actually this one will provide if you are if the asset is bullish this is when you're gonna you're gonna you can get a multi-day move two or three days move so <coughs> the ones i've marked are 4.4 for trade and 3.9 for the value of um, of uh, voila uh, but yeah 4.4 uh, uh, is the one uh, it's the most important one so you can see here you have a button and then what you're looking for is uh, to get to i will i will go to min after i will talk about min but yeah that's a crazy movie yeah, that's 800 points on nq i mean you made a, you made a month of money uh, uh, if you if you pay the, the right size on this so this is for max this is for buy when do you sell i've marked min so for two minutes it's pretty simple it's a, it's a little above uh, zero when you get there okay let's say you bought here this is when you're gonna get out okay so this is a little bit above zero you can check it uh, on your side uh, if you are using this script on the 15 it's 0 0.1 it will mark usually the beginning of um, volatility starting to go up because um, the way it works is trade will push volatility down but at some point once trade is at 0 0.1 almost at zero volatility has no more place down so the only place is up right so volatility will, will start to go up and trade is, is going to go up and you get a restart you get a reset this is when you buy this is when you this is when you get out and you wait for the volatility to happen you get in you get out and this is the way you you can day trade okay so the min is 0 0.1 on 15 minutes on the one hour it's 0 0.3 when it gets there 0 0.3 you can expect a topping pattern to happen um, and on the two hour it's 0 0.3 and 0 0.6 0 0.6 being the min one 0 0.3 being the min two so every time when i day trade uh, nq i'm going to use these these things it's it's pretty accurate okay so of course you have to back it up back it up with other stuff but this is a way to generate a constant constant stream of uh, money just uh, by uh, day trading because uh, the problem with swing is um, you're gonna get entries uh once every well, every what every week every two weeks and then you just wait then you get to the top and you decide to either unload some or unload everything but um day trading is very good to to add to you as a skill to your to your portfolio of uh, of skills so um, i think this is uh, this is it guys uh so i've talked about uh, uh how to view this script uh, I've talked about how to use it on the daily uh, for to identify tops. Again, I encourage you to check. I have many, many, many tickers I'm watching, and each of them has uh, it, its own profile. I'm using it also for day trading, especially for NQ. Uh, but CL, for instance, has very good profile for this. So if you are trading. Uh, uh oil on futures contracts it's also very good i'm just uh, increase my stuff i really like it and uh, and uh yeah it's uh, it's a very good stream of money uh, using using that so i hope it was useful this video was especially for the people using this particular script uh i'm going to try to address maybe some of the other scripts uh, i have posted for example trade and trend but as i said trade and trade is basically this one converted into price and on the screen okay so we're gonna have a video uh, i think on uh, tuesday or wednesday with uh, vi and also we've uh, we have invited uh, some friends to to open on the call anyway uh, please send us a message if you want to know more uh, feel free to post some messages uh, below the video if you have any questions I'm going to take a look and answer and if you want to have access to this script it's very simple you go to myfractalrange.com website you subscribe to premium plus at least a 100 tickers uh, subscription and uh, you're going to see the, the training view 
uh, tab appear on the left side of your screen and this is where you provide us with your trading view username and then we open all the scripts available uh, for MFR users. So you have MFR trends, you have ranges, you have uh, my volatility script, you have my trade and trend uh, volatility indicator, uh, you have also Vimomo that I use uh, I use a lot and I actually use it in my calculations for uh, my buy the deep uh, scripts. Um, it's pretty useful. I encourage you to also dig in into that. Um, anyway, guys, uh, I hope it was useful. Have a great, uh, great day. And again, please reach out. Uh, I'm going to answer any questions. Take care.